What is up my fellow Intuibians? I am Logan the Totally Epic Gamer and today we're going to be looking at the fastest expedition of speedruns, Boomtown. It's the fastest for every class and especially for the Technomancer and you know it's not as fast as Pyromancer but you know what can you do? You can only do so much with the limitations of your class and here you see I start shooting right away. The real reason I'm trying to get enemies to come to me. You see everything starts pushing in. I kill the cremator really fast making sure I don't make any mistakes here and I just start moving forward. Now I have enemies to my left here and I do try and shoot them but I go you know what not a big concern keep moving through the middle. The real reason here is like in most expeditions the enemies that are behind you you can clean up later. Trying to clean them up now will waste time. They will come to you. As you can see, the red dots behind me, they're starting to pull up. They're not shooting me. I'm not taking enough damage to die, so I know I don't have to worry that much. But I do have to make sure that I keep moving forward, getting towards that door. I know that door is going to open eventually. So here, I keep moving forward, trying to do everything I can. I'm actually, you know, I could find a good cold snap here, and I end up trying to find one. And it seems like I could have found a better one for sure. But I just couldn't find the right timing to go in between shots. It was difficult for me to find a good shot. There was definitely somewhere timing there that I could have found something, but I didn't try to worry too much about it and now you can see like the enemies were very far away but i didn't actually have to worry about that and i am getting the door about one eight now i could do this faster and the reason i kept this one in and i didn't use a different one is because i actually had a really really clean like second and third gate here and that was huge for me i was like well you know what you're not going to get a better gate than that i could have shaved about 10 seconds in the beginning there being a little bit cleaner getting you know like i said a better cold snap finding something easy but you know that's a good, besides the point here you're gonna see i do the left to right method i go left try and clear it as much as i can try and just you know clean house there make sure i get the captain because that's how you spawn the next section and then i move right on to the next portion going to the right now the real reason here is so i don't have to backtrack you see i got cutthroats following behind me but if i get riflemen following behind me they actually might just go sit at the beginning of the second gate and right as they sit at the beginning of that second gate you got to go get them and they hide behind cover for a long period of time you see i just kind of like go back here just quickly for the breacher kill the captain make sure i get the last bit of the spawns and just go i unfortunately get a freeze there and i was like that's ridiculous you know he wasn't able to shoot i just kind of got hit a freeze and it really screwed me because i ended up wasting so many shots on that cap Captain. probably could have saved another 10 seconds there but you know it was still a really strong run so I, I just left it as it was because I you know at Boomtown there is you're playing with a fine line the whole time and you see here I'm going up to the top the real reason is, is I've cleared out most of the bottom so I feel good and even here I'm like looping around and I didn't leave any riflemen at the bottom but one like I said you know just decided to stay back here decided to not push in really unfortunate but i actually did get really good pooling on most of them that this was not a bad time for me getting 240 at the second gate is actually pretty strong because there's so many variables that can go wrong here and here you know i actually just start shooting right away sometimes i go for a nice clean shot right away but this time i was like nope not a big deal let's just start getting some blasting in let's get them to start pooling towards me make sure i've got some good spacing and then right away i move for the good piece which is right as those doors open you just hit your cold snap turn around you clear the whole section and go back to clearing what you were clearing you see i've already cleared most of it out so i'm not as worried and i usually you know kind of leave not too many things in bad spots i've got one enemy that's in bad spot he ring around the rose he's me really annoying but you know what can you do that's always going to happen on boomtown because stragglers get left behind now this is the fastest part of boomtown and a lot of people mess this up and myself included when i first started so what you actually want to do is not take dr detonator right away which is what i used to do and instead make it so you line up the entire crowd so here you see i just start shooting dr detonator right away get some good shots on start the toxic application and everything that falls down i just kill because Dr. Detonator won't take that long when I actually get to him. So I start killing him again, go back to the captain, get some free bullets, kill Dr. Detonator at the exact same time, and most things are already cleared out. You see, this section is just unbelievably fast for me, and I end up getting a 357. That final section took about 20 seconds doing it that way, and it is very, very consistent. So in the end, 357, pretty good time. Definitely could have got a 330 there if I cleaned up those mistakes, but you know that takes lots and lots of practice. There's a lot of things that can go wrong in boom time. But as always, if you guys liked watching it, leave it a like. You know, if you have an idea of how to make it faster, leave a comment in the section below. But as always, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.